Royal Retreat. Meghan and Harry to stay in multi-million dollar Sydney property. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are set to embark on their first joint tour of Australia in October, and the in-demand couple are expected to enjoy some much-deserved downtime in an ultra-luxurious Sydney property. The royal duo will be visiting Australia to attend the fourth Invictus Games, which are taking place in Sydney and are dedicated to raising awareness for wounded military personnel. The newlyweds will also visit the nations of New Zealand, Fiji and the Kingdom of Tonga during their whirlwind tour, as they seek to increase their engagement with Commonwealth nations, after the prince took on the role of Commonwealth Youth Ambassador in April. Yet Meghan and Harry will also enjoy some private time during their packed schedule, and are expected to stay in an eight-bedroom waterfront mansion worth in the region of $39 million, according to the Herald Sun. The property is reported to be similar to Villa Del Mar in Point Piper, according to Inside Out, which is located in one of Sydney's most exclusive, waterfront neighborhoods. Villa Del Mar features panoramic views of the Sydney Harbour, six bedrooms, eight bathrooms and infinity pool, spread over 1,500 square meters. The property is located in Point Piper's prestigious dress circle and features a separate butler's residence. The royal couple are also expected to use their precious downtime to reconnect with Meghan's close friends and former co-stars Gabriel Macht and his wife Jacinda Barrett. They are expected to escape the chaos of Sydney and head to the Sunshine Coast in order to relax out of sight of the public. A royal source commented on the excursion to the mirror, saying, Harry and Meghan have a window free and Gabriel and his wife have invited them to their beautiful Queenslander-style house. It's an incredible place and will be perfect for them to chill out before they go on what is likely to be a fairly non-stop tour. They'll have a great time and they'll have a chance to see the real Australia after the bustle of Sydney. Australian Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull previously welcomed the news of the royal couple's visit to Australia, and stated Australians will be excited to greet them. He said, the Duke of Sussex has become a champion for war veterans around the world, including in Australia. His attendance, alongside the Duchess of Sussex, will be a wonderful highlight for the more than 500 competitors and thousands of spectators. The couple's visit was even welcomed by the chair of the Australian Republic movement, Peter Fitzsimons. He said, they will be most welcome. However he added that their visit will raise questions surrounding Australia's future and sovereignty. He said, but the distinction must be made between their deserved popularity and our own sovereignty. They will go on, and good luck to them, long after we are a republic.